125 years is a long time. Those years hold a lot of history, a lot of memories, and probably a lot of clues about where we might go from here, as a town, as an idea, as a place to live and work and call home. Like any birthday, it's been an occasion to pause and reflect, to remember what's been made for us by others, to consider what we might make of it yet, and to leave it better than we found it. The events that mark the anniversary year reflect that spirit, embracing a mix of the old and the new, mindful of East Long Meadow's historic past while looking ahead towards new beginnings. The year began with the design contest for a 125th anniversary logo. Four town residents, Christine Fellows, David Turnberg, Richard Edwards, and Susan Makarowski all created stunning original designs. Sue Makarowski's winning entry, a quarry man stepping out of the past into the future with sleeves rolled up ready to work, seemed to capture the essence of the anniversary's theme. At its first community pasta dinner, the 125th Anniversary Committee displayed the logo submissions, as well as a stunning commemorative cake created and presented to the town by Pete Gray of Pete Sweets. By April, two major events were scheduled at Heritage Park, an egg hunt and the return after several years of the annual town fishing derby, thanks to the sponsorship of the East Long Meadow Lions Club. Despite a chilly, drenching rain at daybreak, families came undeterred. The weather and the fish cooperated, and with generous support from local businesses and Lions volunteers, the event was a tremendous success for everyone involved. The Lions Club was also busy planning to bring back another popular event from the town's centennial celebration, the Fire Hydrant Painting Contest. With donations of paint and brushes from Rockies, the organizational talents of Lion, Donna Martinez, and an outstanding job of promotion by this cheerful guy, residents could be seen throughout town transforming humble fire plugs into works of art. In May, car buffs turned out for a special edition of the Mayberry Car Show, and in June, the committee partnered with Fenway Golf for a two-day tournament that featured a round of mini golf, a complimentary ice cream cone, and a trophy for participants. In June, the committee and the rec department held a kickoff to summer event at Center Field with a variety of family activities during the afternoon, capped by an outdoor movie in the evening. The town hall's bronze bell, cast in 1884, was removed from its tower for permanent display on the town hall lawn near the flagpole and war memorial. As the DPW crews clipped and swept the streets and sidewalks along the parade route in preparation for the 4th of July, they also installed festive banners printed with the anniversary logo, some of which will be raffled off here tonight. Fireworks on July 3rd were a spectacular highlight of the anniversary celebration. The following day, the float constructed by committee volunteers carried members of the town council in the 4th of July parade. Throughout the summer, committee volunteers staffed events with the commemorative coins, t-shirts, ornaments, mugs, and note cards from the town-wide tag sale to the annual National Night Out. With autumn and the winding down of a busy year-long birthday party for the town came the Celebrate East Long Meadow Day Long Fair at Center Field. And here we are at the final gala event. Thank you for being part of it. 
and thanks to the many individuals and organizations who contributed their time and town spirit to make it all happen.